Hey guys, this is Rogue Flamingo, and welcome to episode 24 of my Guild Wars 2 personal story walkthrough. In this episode, we're going to be doing the story mode dungeon Twilight Arbor. You, to do this, you need to be level 50, so once you hit level 50, you'll get a piece of mail here from your herald, as always, saying, Hail, mighty hero. The stories of your accomplishments have spread far and wide. I've heard from Kaif, who's looking for help in the Twilight Arbor, a nest of Nightmare Court followers north of the Grove. My understanding is that she's going there because another of the Silvari Firstborn, Fowlin, has established herself as a Nightmare Court leader, and she feels it is her responsibility. Kaif has always been a loner, first after losing Fowlin to the court, and later with the breakup of Destiny's Edge, and I think she's trying to mobilise some new friends against her former oldest ally. As always, your Herald. And then you can always click show me on the map there and it will show you where you need to go, which I'm already here, to to get to Twilight Arbor. So it's just in Caledon Forest, which is the um, starting area of, if you start as a Silvari. But if not, easy way to get there is go to the Grove, which you can always get to by using the, um, the portal in Lion's Arch. And then that will take you here. Just follow it north until you get to Twilight Arbor. It's not too difficult. So this is a uh, dungeon, so it's a five person dungeon, so I'm going to need to get a group together first and then we're going to get get going. It's not technically part of, part of the personal story, but I'm doing the story mode dungeons included within this walkthrough because I feel that they add a lot to the story um, and uh, are pretty fun as well. So I'll find a group and then we'll get going. Right, so we've got our uh, team, well, we've got four of us anyway, uh, that's all you really need for story mode, and if a fifth person joins, then fair enough. So, let's enter story mode, get started. Kaif and Ritlock, so let's go speak to Kaif, see what she has to say. Gabby your party. We should be on our way shortly. Rick Lock is getting impatient. All right. Ready. Here comes our final hero. Well, it looks like a fifth yes. person joined us. I am late. You. Good to see you, Logan. Now we can begin. Conniving vegetable. You never said anything about him being here. I asked him to attend. I need all of your help to deal with Fowlin. It sounds like this Fowlin and you have history. Fowlin is firstborn, like me. She's powerful and dangerous. But she wasn't always that way. When our race was new, we traveled together, her and I. We became close. We found a great darkness. I pulled back from it. Fowlin embraced it. She seduces others to unspeakable acts. I cannot stop her alone. That is why I need you, and Ritlock, and Logan. I will not work with this human. He'll desert us again. I did what I had to do. Then you can do this without me. If I see you again, Logan, I will carve you. Who's deserting us now? Ah, oh, so we lost Ritlock. Oh, and we gained Logan. Fantastic. Yeah, I'd rather have Ritlock personally, but, you know. <laughs> each to their own. Catch up with my teammates. Lots of elite enemies in dungeons, obviously there's five of you, so a little bit more difficult, but pretty easy for five people. Oh. 
to be fair, story mode's not supposed to be difficult, to be fair. It's supposed to be more, like I say, for the story. I like these story mode dungeons, a lot of Destiny Dead story, following on from the, uh, the books that bridge the gap between Guild Wars 1 and 2. Well worth a read if you haven't read them already. A trilogy of books. Oh yeah, Undergrowth Spider Queen. Needs Redlock anyway. We do. We are weaker without a new place. Just as we were when you abandoned us. This again? I expect this from Ridlock, but not from you. I am not a coward. What if you scheme and you insult me? Done with you. Finish this on your own. Serious? Oh. What a little bitch. She called him out and he's run away. <laughs> Hello, dear heart. I see your friends have already abandoned you. How does it feel? Fowlin, it is time to end this madness. The madness is yours. You rely on others when you know you belong here. With me. I've moved on. We shall see, dear heart. We shall see. Three of my champions are here. I look forward to seeing how you and your remaining allies fare against them. Right, come on. Definitely some weird sexual tension there between Help! those they two. Do terrible things to me. Destroy those spell blossoms before they tear us apart. Right, so we need to destroy the spell blossoms. Which are these? So there you go. And we need to defeat Fallon's first champion. I believe she said there were three. So let's give it a go. That on the map there. Kaith, <laughs> meet my first champion, Sariel. We've met. She is not worthy of you. Oh, Fallon, what have you done to this poor girl? I'm no girl. I am Fallon's chosen. See how easily you are replaced, dear heart? But say the word, and you can be my favorite again. No! I am your favorite, and I always will be. Nothing will ever change that. I'll kill you, Kaith. Slowly and painfully. You children have fun. <laughs> Everyone's getting a little bit catty. Everyone's fighting over Fowler. <laughs> no. Nicely done. Don't forget to get the me. chest as well. Shit. Bit of extra loot. Please help me. Nah. Oh god. Please, no. 
Sorry, um, it's the first bit of underwater combat I've actually had on this character, so I just need to get used to the uh, the skills, so bear with me if I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Although, it looks like we're about to come out of the water, so it might be short-lived. Thank God for that. The biggest fan of the uh, underwater combat, as you can see. It's not really anything wrong with it, it's just... I don't use it very often, so I suppose I never learn all my skills and everything. Catch up to my uh, my mates up here. Defeat Fallon, second champion. So let's get this done. So regrow the Silvari Bridge, so seed bundle, spring water and fish oil fertilizer. So we need we to get see where these are on the map. The proper ingredients I could grow a new bridge. So regrow the Silvari Bridge. I'm gonna go over here with these guys. A couple of my minions have got killed, so I'll summon those back. Oh, the drawing go up here I think okay so I think we need to regrow the bridge to get to that champion there but looks like we've got to kill this enemy over here to to do that so underwater one by the looks of it so you, before you do this you might want to learn a couple of your underwater skills and stuff so you don't use them that often, so you want to know exactly what you're doing. Pretty effective, to be honest. Looks a bit. Die, fishies. Ooh, it's a big fish, that one. It's a sick move. Spin around. Finish off the big fishy, and there you go, dead fishy. Thank you. Okay, look, it looks like we've got the things we need, so bring materials to cave. No problem. Feel a little bit bad for cave, Ritlock and Logan running off. We'll leave now on our own to deal with our business. Not going so well at the moment for Destiny's Edge. Or what's left of Destiny's Edge, which isn't a lot. Now that we've gathered the ingredients, I can do the enchantment. The Asura love their little golems, but I prefer a more natural approach. Let's do this. This should do the trick. Let's go. I love the Silvari though. The like part tree. Their hairstyles are all like branches and leaves and stuff. It's really creative. Really cool. Don't fix me. I'm not broken. Here we go. Brangwa. You have done well against poor little Sariel, my pet. How will you fare against Sir Brangwa, Knight of the Court? I am not some rat in your maze. We were entwined. I sense fear in her, Lady Fowlin. How delightful. But can she harness it? Are you sure she is worthy? Feel free to test her mettle. She'll be up to the challenge. Let's do this. Leveled up as well. Nice. 
Please sit down. Chest, don't forget chest. Lovely. Shows you on the map as well, just in case you don't know where it is. This looks like a fine place for adventure. Oh, that's not the best time to open that. Thank you for saving me. Right. Let's go. Let's defeat the third and final champion then. that person saying there there's no need to open the pods it just makes things take longer so if you leave the pods just make your way straight to the final box the third champion I love the animations bring it on third champion So, the firstborn continues her futile quest. <laughs> Face the truth, dear heart. The dream is a nightmare. See the world for what it is. Episodes of pain ending in untimely death. Our paths diverged long ago. I chose the dream of our people. You, a twisted phantasm. The love I once knew has died. I won't let you continue like this. You will regret speaking to the mistress that way. Cadian, seek your revenge against the firstborn. Bring it on, Cadian. <laughs> Bitch, come on. Now I am certain. Fowlin sent her followers to test me, serving them up as bait for her trap. But she is a spider caught in her own web. It is time. Okay, kill volatile nightmares to use their essence to weaken the unstable husk. That does sound like fun. Right, okay. We're going this way. One of our me pie members is already quite far along. See, quite a lot of people, they skip the story and stuff like that, but it is story mode, so at the end of the day, don't feel bad about keeping people waiting watching the story, because that's kind of the whole point. But maybe, yeah, avoid these pods, because they're kind of pointless, and they just waste time. I'm really enjoying playing as a necromancer. Yeah, because if you're low on health or if you're, all your skills are on cooldown, just whack out the shroud. Got a whole new bunch of skills to use. Alright, so I think they say we need to open the pods now. Because we need to strike with volatile nightmares. Kill volatile nightmares and use the essence, so we need to kill the volatile nightmares and use the essence against this massive hustle. This is a volatile nightmare. Kill it. Pick up the essence. So, target this massive husk. Press my number one. Lob it. Nice, that's three out of four. And where's the fourth one? They're just doing it now. Oh, it's done, so unstable nightmare husk, so we can fight him now. 
considerably smaller now, which is convenient. Come out of shroud, roll back, use all my weapon moves. Very good. Okay, loot that, loot the chest. Get some decent loot, which is good. Fowlin can't be far away now. Defeated all of our champions. Here at last, dear heart. <laughs> Are you prepared to join me? I will never be with you. Not even to be with your friends. Well, they've already made their choice. Join us, Kaith. This is the only rational choice. We can all be together again. Fowlin has brought us together. Be with us. Everyone stands against me. I have no one left. This can't be real. Ridlock and Logan can't stomach each other. Real or not, we have to deal with them. Okay. Oh. Oh, look, we've got Ghost Ridlock, Ghost Logan, Ghost Soja, and Ghost Air, so. Or spirit, or whatever it is. Don't want to kill you guys, but I will. It's my main girl, Air. Sorry, Air. Oh, Fowler. Bring it on, Fowler. That seems a bit easy. Fowler was the easiest one out of all of them. Okay, so, we've completed that. So we've got the rare helm, some silver, bunch of XP which is going to be a level up. Click the little box over here, you get another 50 silver as well. So a decent amount of money as well as a level up. Happy days. Don't forget to thank your party. Disguise. Be polite. And there's a little chest here as well with some extra loot. Excellent, so that is Twilight Arbor completed and that ends this episode so in the next episode i will be moving on to chapter five of the personal story which you'll also need level 50 to do so uh thanks for watching and uh, like and subscribe to be kept up to date cheers guys